Today on the show, I'm doing something nobody has ever done before. I am going to be smoking a pair of Levi's jeans, 505s to be exact. I'm going to be putting them on the Kamado Joe and see what happens when we smoke them. But that's not all. I'm also going to be smoking a brisket because I want to eat a nice dinner. And uh, we're going to show you how to do that too. So let's just get right into it, okay? First things first, we got the brisket already on here. Now, look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hunk of meat, okay, guys? So this is the deal with the brisket. You want to season it. You want to rub it. You want to take some fat off. But to be honest, I leave most of the fat on because I like eating the fat. It's the best part. It's the most flavor. Then that's very... Very simple rub. Most people would recommend just salt and pepper. I put a little bit of seasoning beyond the salt and pepper. Then you want to get it in the smoker. And you want to get it smoking. At around 200 to 250. Do not go too high. Do not go too high. But the secret is later on, once we hit an internal temp, certain internal temp, which I will reveal later in the video, then we are going to wrap it in butcher paper and let it keep going. Hold in those juices. Brisket is the, I don't know, it's not that tough. But some people think it's the toughest thing to, sm to smoke because it can get dry. You really want to hold in the moisture. And that comes by wrapping it in butcher paper and then um, letting it keep going till it gets to the perfect internal temp. So there's two internal temps you got to worry about. The pulling it and wrapping it in butcher paper, and then the final done, let's eat it. And then you gotta rest it for a long time. But anyway, we'll get into all that. But you're here because of denim. We're gonna be throwing these jeans onto the smoker with the brisket, and we're going to be seeing what effects we can get out of it. Now, I wanted to kind of, you know, I don't just wanna throw them on plain Jane willy-nilly. I wanna like wrap them. So what I'm gonna do is I have some string and I'm going to be stringing these things up into a crazy, crazy pattern so that we can try to achieve a smoked tie dye effect. Again, this has never been done before. So you got to watch till the end to see what happens. Okay. So let's get wrapping. Check in in a minute. All right, here we have them all scrunched up and tied up. I'm gonna put a couple more pieces of string on it just to kind of hold it in a nice ball, but I wanted the smoke to permeate evenly. I might even base these guys. I might even base these with like a, a nice mop, you know, a Southern mop or something. We'll see. I'm just getting crazy with it here. We wanna get some weird, weird look to these jeans. First pair of smoked Levi's in history right here on the channel. All right, they're on the smoker. Let's see what's gonna happen, we don't know. Check back in a few hours. Okay, so here we are. We are going to be wrapping the brisket now. It has reached an internal temp of 170 degrees. Then you wanna wrap it and put it back on. Little package wrapped and good to go. And put her back on. Denim is smoking nicely. See what happens. Keep it going for a bunch more hours. Okay, so it's been pretty well all day. Been smoking away this brisket. I even added some sausages. Look, threw some sausage links on there. Got the brisket wrapped, been going all day, and I got my denim. Got the smoked denim right here. Uh, I'm gonna pull the brisket, sausage, it's done, let it rest for like an hour, maybe more. And uh, you wanna wrap it, take the, take the whole thing, pretty simple. Take the whole thing, wrap it in like a towel, and put it in a cooler, and let it rest for like an hour and a half. Um, then I'll reveal the finished product to you guys. And uh, I'm going to smoke the denim for a little bit longer. And then again, I will reveal that to you guys and we'll see if it 
did uh, anything at all. Excuse me, anything at all. It definitely is picking up color. It definitely is picking up some color. And I'm gonna crank the smoke factor for the last hour here on these bad boys and get them really, really toasty and hopefully dark, dark smoke color. Stay tuned for the reveal. It's gonna be a sicker. Okay, so I put some fresh wood on there. Now she's chimneying pretty good. Got some good smoke. Let's let her go for a good hour like this now while I'm prepping the rest of the dinner. I'll reveal, I'll reveal the meat soon and the denim soon, but we wanna get this cranked. Gonna let that go, let that chimney for a while just get nice and dark, smoky flavor. By the way, this is my backyard. Check it out, we got this beautiful stream, we got the kids' tree fort across the stream there. That is the chief out the front of the house. It's summertime, just enjoying life, guys. Just enjoying life. Smoking denim, smoking Levi's 505s because never been done before. This is it, the big reveal. They've been smoking all day. Um, and yeah, dinner was amazing. Now it's time to reveal the jeans. Let's go. They're hot, they're hot. You can see they picked up a lot of color, okay? No shortage of color. We're gonna get these strings off. Here they are, the jeans. Look at that sick freaking fade. Oh, straight smoke burns. Look at that. It's like a crazy spider web vibe going on. I'm gonna wash them up. I'm gonna try them on. Okay, time to reveal the brisket and sausage. Links are looking beautiful. No taste, very epic. Those were called men night sausages. I got them from the market, but the important thing is this brisket here. So let's bust it out. Here's the brisket. Look at this beautiful thing. The real test though, the real test is look. The jiggle, oh, the jiggle is epic. Look at that, pull apart, jiggly brisket. It, this is so perfect. <laughs> oh man. Sage, come here. Over here. Okay, there you go. That's all I get. Okay, I'm telling you. Well, I got, so I, I got this. This is a mustard, mustard barbecue sauce. It's mustard, uh, apple cider vinegar, honey, and spices. Super easy to make, but it cuts the fat really good of the, um, the brisket. Um, that's bomb. Super good. Also got a coleslaw here that I made. Instead of cabbage though, it's actually Brussels sprouts, carrots, raisins, uh, mayo, mayo, apple cider vinegar, some honey also, some different spices, salt and pepper. Coleslaw is always a freestyle. Kind of just throw a bunch of stuff in there and keep mixing it to taste. And uh, and my wife, some beautiful flower arrangements. <laughs> Never would I, but okay. coleslaw bomb. There you have it. Barbecue done. This brisket is ridiculous. Ryan, you want to try it? Yes, I do. 
Give your give the camera your um your your taste test opinions. Damn. That's some good beef. Mmm. Yum. Gene reveal coming soon. Stay tuned. I've got things to do, people to see, <laughs> places to be. <laughs> okay, this is the big reveal. The jeans have now been washed oh. and dried, and I'm wearing them. And they're so sick, babe. What do you think? Get the whole thing, Huds. And they smell. It looks a lot cooler. They smell when like you, a when cowboy. You, like barbecue jeans. It's, it looks a lot cooler when, in, in person, just trust me. Barbecue denim. Smoked Levi's <laughs> 505. It's sick. I love them. <laughs> if, you, if you get a closer look there, then he he misplaced a one part. Okay, there you go, guys. Let me know if you like these jeans, if you like this weird technique down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Young <laughs> strap! He's still wearing his swim shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Outro, baby. Outro. Take a look at my... My view, take the outro. Bye bye.